Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'll try to show you that uh, even though it's freezing outside, uh, it's not actually freezing but it's almost freezing, it's like the temperature outside is a very nice comfortable 3.6 degrees celsius and I'll translate that to Fahrenheit but Let's go see the sun panels. Here is my sun panels that produce hot water. And I just noticed in the basement when I was firing up the wood stove, uh, putting wood on it, that they were producing power, even though there's snow on them. You can kind of see down here that the snow is melting. There's like, it's wet right there, and the snow is melting away from them. So, that the sun is shining, the windmill is not doing anything. Here is the sun panel controller and right now at the sun panels the temperature is 28 degrees celsius and if I go down here I can see that the water in the tank uh, is 19 degrees so the fluids are being pumped around in the system right now even though it's very cold and there is snow on the panels. That's kind of cool. And, uh, 28 degrees. This is the this is my big water uh, heating unit. It's uh, 500 liter storage tank for hot water and this red thing that one that's uh, for electric heating very expensive uh, that, that thing draws 3000 watts and runs on uh, on the high power system like 400 volts and here's a thermometer thermometer I've been practicing and it shows that the temperature in the tank is it's 17 degrees it's not that high and this tank is it's prepared for all kinds of connections there's a lot of cables in here it's it's prepared for solar and for wood stoves or oil stoves on So it can actually run like three systems, like this is where the, this connection is where the solar panels, that's the inlet and there's a, like a spiral, spiral inside that uh, transfer the heat from the solar panels to the water inside and it comes out again through this one this one and it goes back and up here I have some some connections I haven't connected those but those are actually for the wood stove um, uh, I haven't connected that up yet uh, I think that I'm planning to do along the way um, but this is a very nice storage tank and it's it's very well insulated and there was not really this is in the basement and 
there was not room for it, it was too high, so I had to cut out a square of the floor so that it could fit in here. <laughs> so, that was a job. So that was that is the storage tank that is storing the heat that is coming out of the solar panels. <clears throat> and this this other that was for the heat pump. And over here, we can now see that the temperature is 29 degrees. Let's see if the water got, oh, 19, 20 degrees. We're getting there. It's, I think it's fantastic. It's bloody cold outside, but still, the sun is heating up in my usable water. Uh, the reason that the water is this cold, oh, that's a amount of hours that it has been running. The reason that my water is this cold is because uh, I don't heat up that tank. It's 500 liters of water and I only heat it up when I'm actually going to use it. I have another storage tank that is actually connected to the wood stove. Let's see the wood stove, the wood stove. And we are firing happily. Very nice. <clears throat> and it's connected through, through an old system, which I was actually going to take, I was gonna take that down. But then I found out that I could run like two systems, but so, it's still hanging here. Um, I'm not sure how much this storage tank is. It's probably a hundred or two hundred, no, a hundred or a hundred and between a hundred and a hundred and fifty liters. And uh, it's a pretty simple system. Like this line, that's actually the outtake. Oh, it's nice and hot from the from the heating system. So this functions like a radiator. Uh, the water goes in through this this one. The, the, the hot water from the stove comes in and there's a spiral and it goes out. And then there's there's like of the water intake. This is where the the cold water gets in. And there's another one up there somewhere right here like this one that's the water outtake so right now when I'm using the wood stove this this I'm using this tank and I get I get some hot water it's not it's not comfortably hot to to take a bath but it's it's okay it's like yeah, and the two systems I have I have to shut off the other the other tank when I want to take a hot hot shower because otherwise it will blend the water so that I get water from both tanks. So right now I have, I've shut on this shut off this valve, which means that I'm not getting hot water from the basement. I'll have to remember to turn this on when it gets hotter outside uh, because otherwise I won't get uh, the hot water from the solar, solar panels. So that was, uh, that was a bit about my hot water system. Like two, three, three systems I guess. Let's just check the outside temperature on the thermometer. It's 3.7 degrees Celsius outside. And um, that's why that I need some hot water. And the sun can provide that. Right now it's it's not providing that much, but it, it's it's heating the tank so. If I was actually going to turn on the electric system, the electric system would not have to do as much 
as if um, if there was nothing. And during the summer, doing like like in April, um, from April to about November, I use the sun panels all the time. They, they provide constantly what home hot water here and that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool and when you have installed them they just work. It's it's a fantastic system and you get free energy. It's not totally free because it's, it's an expensive system to put up and it took a lot of work but it feels like free energy when you can take a hot bath and you know that this water was heated from the sun. So that's probably enough about that. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel and you'll see me again. Bye bye.